Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be tackling blemishes and how you can remove them uh, quite easily using Face Filter 3 and a number of different features. Alright, so we're going to start off with this uh, model here. Um, if I just zoom in on his face a little bit, oh, that was a little bit too far. You can see that um, there's a just one little simple issue here. It's fairly, uh, the skin's fairly oily. You can see a, little, a lot of shine on the forehead, and that's being emphasized. Uh, that's emphasizing the uh, the forehead wrinkles there. What we want to do is just a really quick, simple fix for this model. Uh, we'll just go to the makeover section, and we want to actually use a very simple tool called our D oil, and that's right here. You can see D oil. What I can do, um, I can actually go into a skin foundation, select a skin refinement, select a skin foundation. Or I can simply just select Skin D Oil. What that'll do is that'll take a lot of the shine down on his forehead uh, without without blurring anything out too much. And you can see now that the uh, the forehead lines are uh, a little bit minimized. And if we want, we can actually uh, you know increase the effect there. We don't increase it too much um, for risk of uh, blurring it out, and making it seem a little bit too uh, too uh, washed out there. Let's we'll maybe leave it at around uh, 60, 60 something, 60, 70. All right. So you can see there just uh, just a slight very simple adjustment um, that actually uh, creates quite an improvement and this this uh, actual facial picture has not even been fit yet so we don't even need to do any fitting for this just a simple de-oiled template just to take off that extra shine there and minimize the appearance of those forehead wrinkles all right so that's uh, the first uh, example I'm going to show you on how to uh, remove uh, blemishes from your face uh, what I'm going to do next is open up another project here we don't need to save this right now I'm going to open up another picture of this guy right here and when this picture loads up, you'll see, uh, you'll probably be able to notice what we're going to be tackling next. Um, I'm going to go to the uh, face right here. And you can see here he has a fairly large, uh, fairly large uh, mole on his face there. What we're going to do is actually take a couple of steps to minimize the appearance of that. So I'm going to go directly over to the makeover section. Of course, the facial fitting has already been done. So uh, you can actually um, check out our other tutorial getting started if you want to learn how to uh, fit the facial features. So for this guy, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with skin foundation here. All right, in Skin Foundation, you can see there's a number of different templates here. We'll just choose a male skin template real quick, and we'll just choose something like this uh, Smooth Strong. And that'll just uh, smooth out the appearance of his face there. Um, you can see it's not too washed out. There's still some natural texture there because the skin texture we've selected is uh, sporty. And you can see if I zoom in really quickly, uh, you can see there's some fairly nice uh, texture still remaining on the skin there. It's not too washed out. So that's another feature of Face Filter 3 that's uh, fairly nice. Uh, you can avoid the uh, washed out look there. All right, so we just applied that. What I want to do for this guy as well, he has some fairly um, significant eye bags. We can actually just increase the level of eye bag reduction as well. And you can see that just uh, takes those out of the way there without uh, seeming too washed out. We may want to minimize that a little bit as well. That would be too extreme. All right, so that's about it uh, for, the, uh, for the facial, uh, for the actual tone of the skin there. Now what I want to tackle is this uh, mole on his face there. Now we're actually not going to totally erase this mole, we're actually just going to minimize the appearance of it. So for, to, in order to do that, I'm going to go to the highlights and contour layers here. And what I want to do is select highlight and contours. We can just choose anything like a uh, shape correction template here, and we can just choose a uh, general male template. Nothing too, uh, nothing too crazy. You can see there it just applies a nice, uh, some nice, uh, really frames his face with some nice contouring along the edges there. And what I'll do is I'll just, uh, from this point on, I'm gonna select my highlight layer. And then the highlight layer, I can actually choose a highlight layer or, or use my custom layer, which hasn't been applied yet. If I go into my masking tools here, you can see the custom layer hasn't been applied yet. And what I wanna do is actually just increase the uh, color. I'm gonna actually make the color just completely white uh, for this highlight layer there. Make sure 255, 255, 255. And what I wanna do, just increase the brush strength and increase the uh, hardness and increase the size slightly. You can also use the uh, bracket keys to increase the size there. What I want to do is just create a quick one time over top of this mole here. Oh, sorry, we, don't, we want to use the uh, brush tool, sorry. Uh, maybe increase uh, that as well. And back again, increase the uh, brush size and the brush hardness there. All right, and uh, I'm gonna make the brush size a little bit smaller there and just click a single time there. And you can see it lightens it up a little bit. And what I want to do is actually increase the layer level as well. You can see there. And we can also increase the strength of the overall effect there to minimize that even further. And if I want, if I'm picky, I can just use this eraser tool and kind of just um, maybe a little uh, decrease the strength a little bit, decrease the hardness. We can just like brush along the outside of the uh, outside of the edge there, just to make a less of a line there. 
and you can see it's fairly uh, fairly nice. So if I uh, if I zoom out here, you can see that's uh, fairly fairly minimalized there. You can still see a, a very slight um, uh, bump there on his face. We don't want it to look too unnatural, but uh, as you can see, it's done a fairly decent job of minimizing the appearance of that mole. All right, so for my last step here, what I want to do is open up another project. And this project, we're going to actually show. I'm going to show you how to minimize the appearance of freckles and some uh, do some pimple uh, pimple spot treatment as well. So we'll open this project now. And if I open this up, you'll see uh, our new model. And once she loads up, I'm going to show you exactly a couple of ways on how you can uh, minimize the appearance of um, freckles, wrinkles, and a lot of other stuff as well. So you can see here, she has some fairly. Uh, uh, moderate freckling around the upper part of her uh, forehead or lower part of her forehead there and you can see there's another uh, another mole right there on her cheek that's what we're going to address in this case here so we'll go directly to the makeover because she's already been fit and of course in the makeover section we want to start with foundation and foundation we'll just choose uh, female skin this time around a little bit more refined and we can choose this smooth strong all right, and once that applies, you can see it just uh, minimizes the appearance of those freckles a little bit. But what I want to do is minimize those even further. So I'll use again my highlight and contour layer here. To avoid making this look too uh, brushed out here, what I can just do is just choose any one of these uh, female templates here. We'll just choose a general female again, and that'll just brighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to use this highlight layer, which is already fairly white, and go into my masking tools here and use my brush. And of course, we can use the bracket keys to increase the brush size there. And what I want to do is just uh, brush along the uh, freckles there on the upper forehead. And that'll actually minimize the appearance of those wrinkles even further. You can even increase the uh, layer level right there. I want to focus on certain areas. We can, you know, add more brushing to that area. And you can do a better job of this if you have more time, do some more refinement and all that stuff as well. But that's generally how I wanted to uh, show you how to uh, minimize the appearance of those freckles. You can see that they're uh, fairly minimized along, along our forehead there now. All right, so now what I want to do is just address again this uh, one simple pimple or one simple mole there on her cheek there. And to do that, we'll use a custom layer. And we'll do the same, we'll take the same steps as we did with the previous example. It's a very, very similar technique. We'll zoom in a little bit closer. Use our masking tools and a brush. This time we can decrease the brush size significantly. Uh, we may want to increase the strength a little bit. And I'm just going to do a simple click over top of that. Once I do that, pay attention on the right hand side, boom. It's fairly minimalized there. Of course, if you want to make that even further into the background, um, blend that further into the skin, we can increase the layer level as well. And uh, there you go. It's fairly, fairly unnoticeable at this point there. All right, so uh, we'll zoom out and you can see the final effect there. Um, just uh, some fairly quick steps to uh, minimize the appearance, to, just to brighten up the appearance of her face there. And if we think this, uh, you know, the look is, looks, looks too washed out, uh, we can even go back to the uh, foundation. We can, uh, you know, decrease the uh, level of foundation. Um, but it looks fairly decent right now. Um, the oil is another one that uh, also can look, create a more washed out look. But you can see it looks fairly close to the original image there. The uh, skin texture doesn't look too washed out. Um, you can see if I zoom in really closely, we get some more, uh, some, still got some detail on the, on the skin texture. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That's how you can uh, remove some blemishes, a couple of quick steps uh, to remove blemishes. And yeah, hopefully you learned something in this tutorial. And thanks for watching.